Hello dear students, today our topic is reporting verbs. Reporting verbs are verbs that serve to report what someone else has said. Reporting verbs are different than the reported speech in that they are used to paraphrase what someone has said. Academic writing requires you to use citations to refer to the original source when you have used someone else's ideas or concepts in your writing. One of the most common ways to incorporate these in citations into your writing is to use reporting verbs to help you to present the information. The use of in reporting verbs in your writing academic work can help to recall your attitudes to sourced information or to help you to voice your opinions arguments better in your assignments work. There is wide variety of reporting verbs in the English language, some of which are detailed below. Reporting verbs are used with quotes, paraphrases and summaries. Choosing the right reporting verbs depends on what the author is doing, the author's attitude to information, the extent to which you agree with the author, and the ways the reporting verbs fit together with other words in a sentence, for example, with the grammar. What the author is doing. Argue. Verbs concerned with the writing or saying, like argue, suggest, propose, point out, explain, conclude, claim, state. Think. Verbs concerned with thinking, knowing, and understanding. Think, believe, assume, feel, hold, hope. What the author is doing. Show. Verbs concerned with the indicating a fact or situation. Show, demonstrate, reveal, indicate, confirm, imply. Find. Verbs concerned with the research process. Find, discover, observe, establish, identify. Author's attitudes is possible to indicate whether the author is positive or negative in their attitude to the content of information. When we say about positive, we use several verbs such as accept, advise, affirm, agree, applaud, assert. And when we use about negative, we use attack, challenge, disagree, dismiss, etc. The author is very assertive or certain. We can use argue, challenge, claim, insist, refuse, reject. When the author is tentative, propose, speculate, suggest, the author believes the information is very important, content, emphasize, stress. The author believes the information is of the lesser importance, mention, note, say. The author is offering advice to the reader, recommend, urge, caution, warn. Agreement with author. You can indicate through a choice of reporting ways your own viewpoint. Like agreement with the author, you say, show through light on, disagreement with author, confuse, discard, neutral attitude towards the author, describe, explain, define. You must choose your reporting verbs carefully. The meaning of reporting verbs can change according to the context and the language surrounding it. Modifying reporting work. In order to develop your own argument and emphasize your own voice, you can modify reporting verbs. You can show strong argument with the author's line of argument. For example, Paris da Costa clearly demonstrates that. You can show your uncertainty about disagreement with the author's line of argument. Like Greg and Bluster uh, attempt to argue that. Grammar point. Argue, think, and show verbs are mostly in the present tense. Argue, find, and show verbs are occasionally in the present perfect tense. Find verbs like concerned with the research process are mostly in the past tense. Look at the table, please. Grammar verbs followed by a preposition. Defines as alerts to challenges to do, for example, apologies for, blames for, criticizes for, confuses with, contrasts with, disagrees with, and then accuses of, warns of. So you have to uh, mention all these prepositions and remember them. Uh, here's some mm, list of the verbs used with the noun or ing form, like analysis, applauds, apprises. So you can uh, make a screenshot of this slide and later on remember all these verbs. And here grammar verbs followed by that, accepts, acknowledges, adds, admits, advises, 
advocates and so on. Please do the same, screenshot these following verbs in order to use them correctly in a grammar point. So this was the end of our today's lesson. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.